Okay, folks, here's something that the Black Brain Trust has been talking about. Will automation job loss hit women or men harder? Automation is coming for lots of jobs, but our gender segregated economy means it will affect women differently than men. A new study finds that automation will affect men and women differently. While male dominated jobs at risk for obsolescence are mostly low paying, Jobs women have at the same risk are both high and low paying. The authors have several suggestions for how these issues can be dealt with as automation gears up. You probably heard about how automation is going to severely impact the economy and all of our jobs and change everything in general. This is all true. Your life is going to be affected by automation in some way. However, a new study out of the United Kingdom shows that automation will affect men and women differently and explains why we ought to start preparing for those issues now. The gender automation gap. A report by the Institute for Women's Policy Research argues that women in several countries stand to lose more than men when automation starts making jobs obsolete. What's worse, these jobs are not only going to be low paying, unskilled ones that you might expect to be made redundant but also high paying work that requires a specific skill set to do. Men, however, won't face this problem. The jobs they tend to do, which will be automated, are overwhelmingly low paying and low skilled work. Why is this? Jobs tend to be gendered in our society. That is to say, there are many jobs which are done overwhelmingly by either men or women. Consider how 98% of kindergarten teachers are women and 94% of truck drivers are men. This gender segregation exists for many reasons and still more entrenched than you might think. Consider how it took from 1970 to 2000 for male nurses to go from 3% to 11% of the total nurse population and how that number has only increased by one percentage point since then. So we have different people doing different jobs. This wouldn't mean anything if all jobs were at the same risk of automated unemployment. The trick is not all jobs have the same risk. While a robot might be good at things like tedious paperwork or following repetitive bureaucratic procedures, it isn't going to be great at jobs that require emotional intelligence like anything in the care industry for a while. Therefore, people working in the administration or secretaries are at a higher risk of being put out of work than people who work in retirement homes. These jobs aren't all at the same skill or payment level though. Some positions at higher risk for automation are higher high paying and some are low paying. Care workers are pretty safe for now and don't make much money. Women in sales make less than men in sales and both are at high risk for unemployment. Women doing office work might be in trouble and make a fair amount of money. Education, which is female dominated, is a mixed bag when it comes to pay and is also also likely safe for the time being. When you combine the variance between high and low paying jobs that automation will render obsolete in our economic gender segregation, you get an interesting problem where the jobs men do, which are at risk of being automated out of existence, tend to be lower paying, lower skilled ones, while the roles that women fill with the same dangers are spread more evenly through higher and lower paying occupations. This is bad because women already own less wealth than men. While the men who may lose their jobs to automation are already low income and the women who stand to lose are both high and low income. They keep repeating themselves. The gender wealth gap may get worse as a result of this. There is also a racial element to the problem. Women of color are more likely to be working in low income, easily automated industries than white women. Making matters worse is the lower rate of education and job training resources in minority communities, which create hardships for people in them when trying to find new work. These issues are a result of the United States particular economic and social situation. Compare all of this to the German economy with its large and enviable manufacturing base where automation will be much worse for men than women. There are other complicating factors, though. Women tend to get college educations more than men, which is a safeguard against unemployment by automation, 
but those degrees are less likely to be in STEM fields, which lowers the protection the degree offers. How much this slight educational advantage will help in 20 years is still up for debate. Likewise, the boards that will make the decisions on what jobs to keep and what to automate are male dominated. If these boards are going to view the work traditionally done by women highly enough to either keep keep it done by humans or help the displaced workers on their way out is anyone's guess. Uh, they're basically admitting stuff that we already know. Um, they didn't really go into great detail. They gave examples. But this article didn't say very much. The jobs that women do, which are, I would say, semi-skilled, it's, it's edu- you have to be educated, but it's not like a skilled trade. And the reason that these jobs, uh, high and low, can be automated, a lot of women work in paperwork jobs, like even like lawyers or law offices or, I can say, secretary work or uh, administration work that deals with paperwork, such as um, insurance companies, medical and other, and uh, sales, uh, phone and other. So a lot of stuff that we're women are, except for maybe like teaching and nursing, which can't quite be automated just yet, but it can be dented by automation. So the well-paying job for women are probably at risk where the, most of the well-paying jobs for men are like physical labor where those can be easily automated just yet. And black women are probably the most vulnerable because they're not educated in the same numbers or just carry the same protections that white women and other women carry. And a lot of black women are in um, retail sales. And in a down economy, number one, and, and them automating it, number two, that's going to take a pretty vicious hit. What it, Really, it's already taken a pretty vicious hit. I think it was one of the brothers said that um, he works in a big box, um, you know, a big box home improvement store and um, a hardware store. Let's put it that way. And he said a lot of the sales girls that were on the floor they're going into kiosks, so a lot of the sales girls got laid off and they wound up at Dunkin' Donuts. It might have been that. Yeah, I think it was Dunkin' Donuts. So where where they were, they were, they were getting paid more. They had to retreat to another type of job that's getting paid less. So I think the brain, back brain trust went into um, quite a bit of detail about black women and automation. So I'm going to put the link in the description of their video. Uh, they talked for about an hour and a half on this subject. So if you want to go into depth, they went into quite a bit of depth. And I would suggest that you check out their channel and drop a line. If you if women are actually interested in automation, how will it affect them? Uh, don't hesitate to email them or send in a comment. Because they can, you know, they do it seven days a week. They can uh, do more if you're interested. You know, uh, drop them a hey, drop them a few bucks, drop them a, a few subs, and uh, they'd be happy to talk about it. I mean, they're 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 pro black male first, but guess what? They're also concerned about the uh, black community. So, anyway, with that, I'm gonna jump off of here. This is BGS out, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.